This presentation is brought to you by Workforce Solutions Northeast Texas. Welcome to the Workforce Orientation for Applicants. You're here today because you chose to apply for Temporary Assistance for Needy Families, or TANF benefits. As part of the application process, we're going to take you through the services we offer, tell you about the benefits for which you have applied, discuss the requirements of the Choices Program, and make sure everyone is registered in workintexas.com. There are many reasons to apply for TANF. Some of the most common are health insurance for the family, help with food, clothes for your children, or help with household bills like rent and utilities. Did you know some of these benefits are available to you without receiving TANF? If you were simply looking for health insurance for your children, here are a couple of options which do not require you to receive TANF benefits. The options are Children's Medicaid and CHIP. Let's look at the income guidelines. For a family of three, to qualify for Children's Medicaid, your monthly family income would be at or below this amount. In comparison, to qualify for CHIP, a family's income would be this amount. What are the qualifications? To qualify, a child must be age 18 years or younger, a Texas resident, and a U.S. citizen or legal permanent resident. How much does it cost? Children's Medicaid is free. CHIP fees are based upon your income. Enrollment fees are $50 or less per family per year. Did you know that you can apply for SNAP benefits without applying for TANF? Let's look at the monthly income limits for eligibility as well as the maximum amount of SNAP you could receive in a month. For a family of three, your monthly income limit would be this, and the maximum amount you would receive would be this. Now let's look at the income guidelines and the maximum monthly amount for TANF. You'll notice the maximum income limits are very low. However, some people may be able to get benefits even if their income is higher than the listed amounts. As an example, you can see that the amount changes in a family of three depending upon the number of parents or caretakers in the home at the time. As you can see, you will not be able to survive on TANF alone for very long. Please also be aware that if you are certified for TANF, you will have to sign a personal responsibility agreement. You must agree to train for a job or look for work, follow child support rules, not quit a job, not abuse alcohol or drugs, take parenting skills classes, get vaccines for your child, and make sure your child is going to school. Failure to comply with these requirements could result in the loss of your benefits. You may be eligible for a one-time TANF. A one-time TANF is for families in crisis who do not have a lot of money and have children under the age of 18. These crises can include losing a job, losing a home, or a medical emergency. This help can only be given to a family once per year. One great benefit of this is that once you receive a one-time TANF, you're not required to participate with the Choices Program. We'll explain the Choices Program in a moment. Our goals are simple. We want to help you get to work as quickly as possible. Why? Because working puts more money in your pocket than public assistance does. Let's look at this chart comparing monthly wages. Looking at this graph, you can see that even working for minimum wage, one could earn over $1,200 a month versus the $300 per month that TANF alone provides. Having a job would then also stack with other available benefits, raising your monthly income even higher. This chart depicts annual earnings. Again, you can see the difference between a TANF-only income and a minimum wage position. An easy way to get started, if you haven't already, is to download the Texas Health and Human Services app. You can see if your benefits have been approved. You can report changes to your case and you can find the nearest office to your location. It's a great tool to have. We have many tools at the Workforce Center to help you find employment. Our resource area is available to all job seekers. We can help you find a job even if you decide not to receive TANF benefits. Our resources include computers with internet access to conduct a job search, job counseling to help you find the postings which best match your skills, resume software so you can easily build your resume, a scrolling job board with all the jobs available in the area, and access to a fax machine, 
copy machine, and telephones. Another service we provide is helping you with the labor market in your area. Labor market information is data that statistically describes the economic conditions in a certain area. That area can be as small as a zip code or as large as the whole country. Want to know how your wages compare with the wages for the same job in another part of the state? Looking for the fastest growing occupations in your county? Wondering where to go for training in an occupation in which you want to work? Labor market information can find answers to these questions and more. Just sign in to workintexas.com and select Texas Labor Market Information. You can also do a job search from the Workforce Solutions Northeast Texas app. Here is what the app looks like. You can click on the job search button and it takes you straight to workintexas.com. Everyone can use this tool. If your benefits are approved, you must start following the rules of the Choices Program. What are the requirements for the Choices Program? You must participate in a work activity through employment at 30 hours per week or job searching at 30 hours per week. This includes completing 15 applications per week, attending job search workshops at the Workforce Center. If you are a two-parent family, this total increases to 35 to 55 hours per week. You must also meet with your career planner weekly. The number of hours you must be employed will depend upon your individual case. Failure to do any of these could result in a loss of your benefits. Must you follow these rules? That depends on how Texas Health and Human Services codes your case. If you are mandatory, you are required to participate in work activities in order to receive your benefits. If you are exempt, you are not required to participate in the Choices Program but may choose to volunteer. Another important thing to remember if you are receiving TANF is that these benefits do have a time limit. You can only receive your TANF benefits for five years. You want to go to work as quickly as possible to reduce the amount of time you receive these benefits. You never know when another emergency could arise. If you fail to follow the program requirements, you will face a full family sanction. This means a loss of your TANF benefits, your adult Medicaid, as well as your SNAP benefits. As you can see, it is very important for you to meet with your career planner weekly and turn in your required participation. How do you cure a penalty? You must demonstrate cooperation for an entire month. Is TANF the right choice for you? We have discussed the rules of the Choices Program which you are expected to follow if you receive your benefits. We have shown you the tools we have available to help you find employment whether you are receiving benefits or not. Your next step, if you haven't done so already, is to create an account at workintexas.com to begin your job searches. You have now completed part one of the orientation. Please write down the confirmation code because you will need this code when you contact your career planner to finish the orientation. Now on to part two. You must contact your local office to complete the paperwork. You may do so by either email or phone. The contact information is listed by your local workforce office. Please provide your name and confirmation number in the email or phone call in order to prove that you have completed part one of the process. Remember, you only have 10 days from the date on Form 2588 provided to you by Health and Human Services to complete this process. Thank you for taking this time with us to learn about the workforce application process and benefits. We hope it helps you take the next step forward. If you have any questions or want to learn more about Workforce Solutions Northeast Texas, please visit us at netxworkforce.org.